And we welcome the chief of police for the city of Des Moines, uh, Dana Winger, uh, joining us here because we found out recently that you are looking for a few good cops. We certainly are. We have uh, started the application process for a police officer. We're uh, very excited about it. We did some unique things this year to try and spur some interest in that, but uh, we're hoping for, uh, for a good turnout and a lot of applications. Now, it takes a little bit more than just throwing on the uniform. What are you looking for for a good, uh, good men and women out there? We're looking for uh, good men and women uh, of character and experience isn't necessary. Uh, we're just looking for people of character who are uh, have that, that service service uh, blood running through their veins and we'll teach you how to do the job. But there are some requirements that you usually need in order to make it to the first step, correct? There are some requirements and the first thing is a uh, high school diploma or GED mm -hmm. and that will get you into the door. Uh, you know, no, no uh, serious uh, criminal convictions. Uh, but you know, we realize people make mistakes. So, uh, you know, minor crimes don't necessarily preclude you from applying. Okay. Uh, but then that first, that first step, that uh, first th uh, three phases of this hiring process are very, very important. And how many people are you looking to hire? Uh, we're going to be in that uh, probably 20 to 25 range wow. uh, with a class expected uh, uh, late summer, early fall next year for a start date. All right. Now, any particular age? Uh, restrictions uh, uh, for the applying process or not? There's no age restrictions. In fact, uh, men and women, uh, you have to be 21 years old to apply, but men and women uh, of all ages are encouraged to apply. In fact, uh, you know, uh, some, some of those folks, you know, in that, uh, you know, 28, 30, 32 range just realize it's time for a career change mm -hmm. and they make uh, uh, very good employees. What, what was it about being a police officer that drew you to the profession? Well, originally what drew me to the profession is uh, with a young family, I really needed uh, a steady income and benefits. Uh, so that kind of got me in the door. And then it's, it's one of those professions where once you get into it, you're just going to fall in love with it. Uh, there's just so much, so much satisfaction uh, in, the, in those service-related fields, and, and law enforcement is no different. Kind of take us through the process. As you said, you don't need no experience required, just need to kind of have the heart of someone that wants to help out their community. But kind of take us through the process of the application. Okay. The the uh, uh, first three steps are the are the by far the most important. Okay. Uh, fill out that application completely all the way through. Make sure everything's accurate. You have all your paperwork and records in order. So that uh, that gets you in the door. Uh, then after that, there's a uh, what we call a post test, a written test, uh, and a physical agility test uh, that uh, is required. It's required that you pass both of those to even move on in the process. That seems to be the stumbling block. The uh, physical one. The physical one, and and how difficult is it? It's not overly difficult, but I think I think people underestimate it. Where they they look at it and they see the requirements, and you think, okay, I'm in relatively good shape. I right. can handle this. Uh, uh, but it includes push-ups, sit-ups, a mile and a half run, and a flexibility just a sit and reach test. Uh, but I got, you know, a lot of people find out, okay, I need to do 30 push-ups in a minute and a half or 30 sit-ups, you know, depending on your gender and your age. Uh, but when you get to 25 and your stomach muscles say you're done, you're done. You're done. Mm -hmm. So it's something that, that you need to train for. And therefore, we put an instructional video together that shows exactly how to do a push-up how to do a sit-up in order to count for this Cooper test and what you need to do. So we have an instructional video out there that's, uh, that I think will be very helpful. And you have a month to kind of help yourself get into shape for the deadline, correct? Exactly. And you can, you can condition your body to pass this test in a month uh, uh, with very little difficulty. You just have to dedicate yourself to it. You will know what your requirements are going in based on your age and gender, uh, and you can condition your body to pass the Cooper test. All right, and the, the video is available online. People can watch the video online. Yes, you can. Uh, we encourage you to uh, go to the Des Moines Police Department's Facebook page. Uh, we have a link there to the video and all the application information. Also, the City of Des Moines uh, Human Resources page uh, under Jobs and Openings. Uh, if you click on that link, you will have uh, the same information available uh, there. All right, let's get down to the bottom line here. People are looking at this saying, you know something, it would be cool to be a Des Moines cop.
What kind of pay am I going to get? You know, uh, you're going to make a living wage. You're going to have an excellent benefit package through the city of Des Moines and and a uh, a pension at the end of the career. Uh, you're going to you're probably looking at that fifty eight thousand a year to start. Really? Uh, which is uh, that's a wage you can raise a family on if you're reasonable yes. about it. Uh, you're going to have excellent health benefits. Uh, which is a good thing in this day and age. Uh, so we're very proud of all the things it has to offer. And when you look at the Des Moines Police Department, uh, it kind of gives you an opportunity for all things law enforcement. Uh, you know, we have detectives, narcotics, we have a SWAT team, we have our CSI team, we have traffic investigators, we have an airport unit, outreach, school resource officers, just about anything that you could want to do in the law enforcement field is available to you right here in the city of Des Moines. If people are thinking about it, is there a place they can go where people they can talk to to see if it really is a perfect fit for them? You know, that's uh, that's something uh, uh, that we think about in-house all the time. And Des Moines, uh, Des Moines is one of those communities where everybody knows somebody who's in law enforcement. Right. Uh, and so I encourage you to uh, seek those people out and talk to them. Uh, with that, everybody knows somebody that would make a good police officer as well. And we encourage our citizens to go out and encourage them to apply. We have uh, our Des Moines Police Academy. Uh, the number there is 323-8350. If there are any questions or uh, uh, information that anybody needs, they can call our Police Academy. We'd be happy to sit down with you and discuss all things law enforcement, particularly Des Moines Police Department. That is great. So once again, you're looking for how many officers? We're going to be probably in that 20 to 25 range by the time uh, the academy starts. Uh, and we're looking forward to uh, great men and women uh, to look uh, jump into that service field for the Des Moines Police Department. And the deadline for application one more time. Deadline for application will be January 15th. So a uh, month from today. A month from today. So don't wait till the last minute. Right. Uh, jump in there, get that information turned in, and we look forward to seeing you in the process. Process. Wonderful. Wonderful. Chief, thank you for coming over. Appreciate it. Now, you're going to be in our little get-together in February, the, uh, the the black and blue ball. The black and blue ball is going to be uh, the second uh, the second one we've had. This uh, we, we call it in-house kind of the uh, prom for grown-ups. There you go. Uh, <laughs> tuxedos and ball dresses. It was a great time last year. My wife and I are really looking forward to it again this year. Do you, now think you, I, you, you can borrow the hat for the event, do you think? I don't, know Jack, if it's Jack, gonna, I don't know what kind of dress you're going to wear, but I'm not sure the hat's going to go. <laughs> the, it might look good, but see, Jack, I think it'll look pretty Jack and I are hosting. You still going to come? I'm still going to come. Okay. <laughs> All right, just <laughs> Tickets in hand. <laughs> That's wonderful. Dana, thanks for coming. Thank over you right. very yeah, much. Thank you, thanks man. for having me. Appreciate it.